people were screaming for ways to save on their fuel. So we opened up our place on the US 19 down here. As soon as we opened up the doors, the people just flooded in. We gave a little seminar, a one-hour seminar, mm -hmm. on how the systems work. And then uh, from there, people could make appointments, and they would just come in and put them in their cars. They'd go back to the neighborhood, show the neighbors and stuff. And three or four weeks later, when they're really noticing the increase in their mileage right mm -hmm. there, they're still talking in their community, and people are coming like, like flocks of geese coming back in sun. Couldn't clean the feathers out fast enough. Amazing. <laughs> well, see, that just shows you. That's how I've done. I've been in the car business for, as you know, for many, many years. And I'm just not a real, real big, heavy front page advertiser. I've done most of my customers, most of my sales have always been. Nobody by, reads the St. Pete Times anymore anyway. Always been reading pearls. Oh, here, here's another person that hates us. Be careful. <laughs> Barry's out here with a stick stirring. Uh oh. <laughs> but the bottom line is, if you take care of people, if you take and you do a good job for them, and you give them value, they will come back and they will bring their friends and their brothers and sisters, and and that's how we built our business. And I'm glad to see that's how you got yours started. Well, with your help and with the uh, guidance that we're getting from all of the researchers and the research that we do out here, this is going to be something big in the in the future out here. Uh, you can't you can't beat it. It's a win 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 situation. Think about this. We, we did a lot of uh, number crunching right in the very beginning. Uh, some very, very interesting things. We figured out that uh, there were 274,278,000 million, 274 cars on the road. I think the number sticks in my head. That was back in 08. Yeah, that was back in 08. And we said, well, if we want to do just 1% of the cars, outfit 1% of the cars here, say in three years, okay, that's uh, what, 2 million, pe uh, 2 million cars. How many service centers are we going to have to have installing two a day uh, in these cars? How many service centers are we going to have to have to do that? Thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands. Then we started going a little bit further. How many gallons are we say? How many gallons, uh, uh, barrels of oil, how many barrels of oil will we be saving if we can get 1% of the cars onto that? And we found that with the price of a barrel of oil at that time, which was uh, right around $123 a barrel, that the U.S. would save almost $10 billion a year in oil and fuel savings cost over here, you know, in their cars. Just by 1%. Just by 1% right there. And what does that do? Wow, that saves money. That, 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 that is just awesome right there if you think about it because now that's over a billion dollars less going overseas to those people who hate us and want to kill us and take <laughs> that money. And are, they don't all hate us, but you, there are a number well, of them. Well, there are a yeah, lot of them over there in the something. Middle East, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, I'm not going to mention any names. Okay, we're not going to get into, into that. News. Not this show. <laughs> we'll save that show. for next week. There you go. There you go. There you go. But anyway, so this contributes to our national defense. Yeah, It cleans the environment out here. Uh, we save fuel. We save money for people in their cars. It gives them more money to throw out into the economy. And now that the economy is really slowing down and really going places, you need every penny you can get to just make ends meet out here. It's absolutely uh, just, just insane. So anyway, we have uh, – not only do we have the service centers and the distributors that we have, but at uh, Fuel Genie Systems, we also offer training classes for anyone who wants to learn this craft and get into the business. Uh, we also have seminars that we'll talk to people about if you want to know anything more about that. In fact, beginning next month, right here at Regal Cars, uh, after this broadcast at 5 o'clock, we'll be giving a one-hour seminar for anyone who wants to come in, learn about hydrogen. We have a uh, touchy-feely display case over here. You can look at all the things we have on the cars, how it works. Uh, you could talk to me. Uh, you could talk to Gary. Uh, we'll have people here. We will answer all of your questions and explain to you how it all works. We want you to feel comfortable with this stuff. This is hydrogen. Hydrogen can be a dangerous gas if it's used wrong. So uh, when we teach people how to install these things, we teach them the safety of hydrogen. We teach them what not to do. Uh, so we, you have a clear understanding. If you go through our classes, you have a clear understanding of how to do this, and you can make some good money on the side just installing these things right around in your neighborhood. You don't even need a shop to do it. But it's nicer if you have a shop and a nice lift that you could put the car because you do have to get underneath the car to do all of this stuff here. 
So, so if you wanted to become a distributor for your company, you're you're going to be in a, a situation where there's going to be eventually lots of them, is what you're saying. Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. therefore, the earlier somebody gets in, obviously, the more the better li- off they're going to be. Lion's share. Exactly. So okay, if, makes sense. If you want to learn how to install these, or if you want to become a distributor, go to our website. That's www.fuelgeniesystems.com. There you'll see exactly, uh, well, you'll see a little form you fill out. Uh, send us an email. Let us know what you're interested in becoming an installer or if you're intended to becoming a, um, a distributor for these things. Uh, we'll get back to you. We have uh, district managers now up in the Washington, D.C. area. We have a uh, district manager out in the uh, Arkansas area, and we have one here in Florida. Uh, we'll put you in contact with whoever you need to, run the numbers by you, show you what you can do, how you can begin to learn a new trade and a new skill for the coming of this high-priced energy era we're so, about to enter. So basically, if I was just a shop owner that actually had a, a repair shop, I could add this to my menu. Oh, absolutely, and a lot of our installers have just that. They already have garages. Right. So they already have their own customers, and they could bring the product to their customers. Absolutely. Ah. And, and then the customers come back in on bended knees, thanking you, shining your shoes, yes, spit polish and stuff like that. Just like my customers do when they buy one that has one on it. Absolutely. That's why your shoes are so, so shiny. <laughs> uh, and exactly sandals. Right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh, me. There is just so much going on uh, as far as fuel saving goes. There are a lot of other ways that you can, uh, a lot of other things that you can do to save fuel in your cars, too. You'll have to keep listening to the show every Saturday from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. here on uh, 1340 a.m. WTAN. Also, uh, go to our website, www.fuelgeniesystems.com. Uh, click on the icon that says Fuel Savers Radio, and you can listen to us right there. And very soon, you'll be able to actually look at the camera and see us talking to you. When we have that up and running, uh, we'll do actually show and tell here. So anyway, uh, there are a lot of things I talk on the radio. Uh, in fact, yesterday with a guy who uh, lives down in uh, South St. Pete. He is now developing kits that will actually, uh, people at home can produce their own ethanol with. Ethanol. Uh, for about a buck forty a gallon or something like that, I think he was mm-hmm. saying to me. Um, it's not all 100% together and everything yet, but he's working on it. It's coming out. So just imagine... Uh, when the time comes and gasoline starts climbing up there, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars a gallon, and in Europe they're paying eight dollars for a gallon of gas right now, just to show you where it can go. So, uh, when the time comes, if you have one of these kits, it would be a simple matter of just you know going to the pantry, getting the ingredients, throwing it out there, and mixing yourself up fifteen, twenty uh, gallons. I think of- I'll make some ethanol or some scotch. I don't know which one I want. It's not that kind of alcohol. Oh. Yeah. Well, actually, it is. Ethanol is the alcohol you can drink. You ethanol, put ethanol and and stuff some kill ice you. cubes, and your day goes away. I don't know. I think alcohol, tobacco, and firearms might come to your house here soon. You yeah, know, but you could take off in your car with your fuel genie on it. They wouldn't be able to catch it. You know, I was talking with this guy, and I didn't even think about that. But yeah, if you're uh, if you're producing ethanol out there, you're you're. You, you're a moonshiner. <laughs> yes, you are. You need to move, move North Carolina and pull out some of your teeth. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Well, anyway, uh, I'd like to thank everybody out there who has been listening to the show today. Uh, tune in every Saturday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, on the uh, Fuel Savers Radio. I'd like to also mention, in closing here, uh, there is an exposition coming up next month, uh, November the uh, 13th, down in Sarasota. It's called the HHO Games. Uh, You can go down there and see many, many different kinds of inventors and people who have put together things that will save fuel on your car, help you out with the maintenance and things like that. I believe there's Uh, a website for that. There's a website, hhogames.com. You might want to do that. Also, for uh, you enthusiasts, out there, you might want to check out the hhoinfo.com website, hhoinfo.com website with a lot of stuff. Thank you very much. I'm Barry Hart. And I'm Gary Wilson. We're the Fuel Savers. Thank you for, st- st- thank you for listening. We're cleaning the air one car at a time. <laughs>